October 2003. With Halloween around the corner. 149 million kilometers away. There is a series of event happen at our sun. Which disrupt some area into darkness. The solar storm. The sun reached its peak activity in 11 years cycle. And erupted its particles and coronal mass ejection or we called it CME. This extraordinary event affects southern Sweden's power grids. Which cause about an hour blackout throughout the city. Satellite experience communication disruption, malfunction, and damage due to the radiation exposure. While airlines had to reroute their flight to avoid destruction and increased radiation exposure. The CMEs, it's a phenomenon that releasing of the plasma and magnetic field from the sun's corona. It can travel to the Earth at speeds ranging from 250 km per second to over 3000 km per second. The CMEs can reach the Earth approximately 1 to 3 days. Also, it depends on the direction of the eruptions. Luckily, on July 23, 2012, this massive eruption nearly hit the Earth. This occurrences will still occur in the future, and no way to prevent this extraordinary event from happening. And we need to live through it. However, we can prepare for it, by monitoring the sunspots. Sunspot is the darker area on the sun that look like pores. The darker area we called, umbra. While the dimmer area is penumbra. Umbra, is the coolest region on the sun, that have a range about 3000 to 4500 degrees Celsius. It was caused by the change in sun's magnetic field. As the magnetic fields change, the amount of activity on the sun's surface will also change. The greater the magnetic field, the larger the sunspot, and also will increase the number of sunspot. When there is least or no sunspot, it indicates solar minima in solar cycle, where the activity of the sun is low. And when the sunspot is the greatest, it means the solar cycles reached its peak. And are called solar maxima, this happens every cycle in 11 years for our sun. As shown in the graph below from 1900 to present, 2024. The graph shows how the number of sunspots on the sun changes over time. With regular cycles of high and low activity. Each peak represents a period, when the sun has a lot of sunspots. And each trough, lowest point, shows a period when it has fewer. In recent years, the sunspot numbers at the peaks have generally been lower than in the past. This pattern helps scientists predict future solar activity, but it's not always precise, especially at the end of each cycle. The solar activity can be predicted from the graph with several method. The first method is standard curves method. This involves fitting and interpolating standard curves based on the average shape of solar cycles. With similar maximum sunspot values. It uses the last 24 smooth monthly sunspot numbers to predict future cycles. Starting 5 months before the current month and projecting 18 months ahead. This method works well in the middle of solar cycles but becomes less reliable at cycle ends and during minimum activity periods. Next method is combine method. To improve predictions near solar cycle minima. From 1.5 years before to the next maximum. The method incorporates the AA geomagnetic index as a precursor. This index helps predict the maximum value of the next solar cycle. The least square fit then combines the last observed monthly sunspot number with this predicted maximum value until it is achieved. The other method is McNish and Lincoln method or ML. This involves fitting a single average cycle profile to the most recent 13-month smooth sunspot numbers. The average cycle is derived by averaging cycles 9 to 20 from 1849 to 1975. Aligned based on their preceding minima. It can reasonably predict the course of a solar cycle and estimate the upcoming maximum during the rising phase. However, it is not effective around cycle minima, within plus or minus 1.5 years, and cannot predict the length of a cycle. In this analysis, Kalman filtering are applied. 
It is an algorithm that uses multiple measurements observed over time, including statistical noise and inaccuracies. It generates estimates of unknown variables that are typically more accurate than those from single measurements. This is achieved by estimating a joint probability distribution over the variables for each time frame. This is actual image taken from Solar Dynamic Observatory SDO, spacecraft. As we can see the number of sunspots increasing over years in this cycle. And based on the predictions, we estimate that the number of sunspots will reach its peak by end of this year 2024 or early 2025. So, what are the effects to human on ground? Well, there is no harm to human health and living beings on the ground. So no need to panic. However, it will affect any man-made object and technologies such as power grids, GPS, communication, and satellite that can affect human dailies. Plus, it will only affect the people who live at the polar region, also. They have a chance to see the beautiful and spectacular aurora. By the way, don't let our guards down. And let's prepare for the worst case scenarios. The transformer and power mainboard need to be shut down. Others, prepare a fuel generator for the power outage scenario. Next, for satellite company, switch off the satellite that might be inside the storm's path. Thank you.